Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about a lot of different aspects. Um, but my main focus is, you know, what's going on in the world's economy right now? Um, how are you guys dealing with it? Um, you guys staying healthy? Um, you know, the, the mindset of people nowadays has been <laughs> so differentiated with what's going on in this world right now. Um, you know, the normal grind, the normal grind of people was, you know, wake up in the morning, go to your day jobs and, you know, try to supply for your financial needs and so on. So, you know, there's a lot of aspects that are going on in, in today's world that has changed dramatically. And, um, you know, it, it's literally how we're dealing with it. And, and so many people are dependent on, um, you know, their jobs, dependent on, you know, each other, dependent on the government, dependent on, you know, all different aspects of life, how life really works or functions. Um, you know, a lot of people had, you know, dreams of vacations this summer, dreams of, you know, vacations this spring, <laughs> dreams of doing all different things. And all of that has literally been pushed to a halt. Um, and it, it, it pretty much brings out the whole differentiates in, of, of, of people. You know, we, we as people have plans, we have goals, we have budgets, we have all different types of aspects. And, it, and, you know, when all that changes, everybody's in a panic. Um, world news is nothing but, you know, negativity. You know, it's kind of funny how much negativity I read on social media nowadays that, you know, people are nothing but thriving on negativity. It's, you know, we, we as humans, we, we build up all that, all that into our systems eventually to where we're nothing feeding off of bad news, bad vibes, bad this and bad that. And you come to a breaking point as a as a person that, you know, <laughs> you have to pretty much, you know, let it go. You know, how, do, how are you guys dealing with letting your problems go? Um, and it really just changes the whole aspect of your demeanor. You know, you could be the best guy, you could be the best guy in the world. Um, but when you're boiling up all that, um, all that bad crap into your system I guess it, it ends up pushing people to a breaking point um, and in this day and age there's a lot of people breaking and it I hate to see it you know I've always been a, a very positive energy type of person um, because it's literally what changes my mindset um, to adapt to what I have to deal with on a daily basis you know if, if you're that person that's, that's literally latching on to any bad thing any negative thing in your life it you know, it's hard to progress. Okay. We, we've all got dreams. We've got ambitions and you literally are who you think you are. Um, you know, if, if, if you're thinking bad things about yourself, you're who you think you are in a sense. Um, but you got to realize there's, you know, bad habits, bad things. We can all change um, to a different demeanor that works, you know, to the better of us. You know, God's given us this crazy <laughs> mentality of, you know, how we deal with things. And, you know, I've, I've heard it said, you know, one, one person's trash doesn't need to be thrown on somebody else. You know, when let's just say you're in a bad traffic jam of some kind and you get pissed off at the guy in front of you, you've got a lot of baggage, you know, you've got a lot of things that are just wrapped up inside of you. You just want to blow up. And uh, it, it's a, it's a crazy thing. And when you, and when you put throw bad vibes onto another person, they end up getting your bad vibes that you just threw onto them and so on. So it's a whole mass chaos of, of different aspects of life. And, um, you know, I, I run a chat room group of all kinds of different traders. We're stock traders. And, uh, you know, I see all kinds that come in the room of, of, uh, people that have goals and dreams of what they want to accomplish with their trading career. And you've got people that want a quick fix. Um, you know, people want the, the spoon fed, you know, daily alerts. They want the, you know, get me in a play that's going to change my life forever. You know, I, I can't give you that life changing thing. If you're not the type of person that's going to take your, <laughs> take matters into your own hands, so to speak. Um, I grew up very conservative uh, Mennonite. Okay. And some of us refer to us as Amish. Um, but, you know, I was raised on a farm. I was raised on, very you know different morals than what the what the <laughs> daily average american probably grew up on um you know we didn't have we didn't have telephones we didn't have tv we didn't have internet 
Um, you know, we, we lived on very basic necessities of life and, um, you know, it, it was a different atmosphere. You're, you're kind of sheltered in a world of, you know, you don't see the outside world. You know, we didn't have vacations. Um, you know, we just literally were pretty much slaves to <laughs> working within the community that we resided in. Um, you know, you, you got up every morning, you fed the chickens, you milked the cows, um, you know, on occasions you'd go ride the horses and stuff, but you know, it was a different life. It was a different, different thing. And, uh, when I left home in 18, um, you know, I lost all my friends. Um, my parents were not, you know, not for me leaving the community of such, um, but I had dreams. I had goals. I had ambitions. Um, you know, growing up, I, you know, was probably more rebellious in a sense to what I was trying to accomplish for myself. Um, trying to better myself or do something, you know, always ambitious, always having that drive to see the difference of what is out there to be explored. There's so much to be explored. Um, and, and, and it's, like I said, it, it fueled my fire of wanting to do better for myself. And um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's wild to go back and think about, you know, where you've come from to think about where you are now. You know, what has changed in your life? Have you worked year over year to try to better yourself? Have you worked to try to be better for others? Have you been a blessing? Have you tried to help others? Um, and, you know, that's kind of my mission as far as my purpose on this life is to, you know, do what I can for others. Um, you know, be an example, so to speak, I guess. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's a wild situation. And uh, I only wish the best for everybody dealing with this crisis. It's, um, it's not an easy thing in a lot of ways that I see for people financially um, physically and, uh, definitely mentally. Um, so make sure you guys are giving yourselves time to, you know, time for your mental well being. I guess your mental health. Um, you know, a lot of these people are wrapped up their quarantine and all the States are locking down to where you, you know, you're very limited on, on what you can do. And us as people, we love socializing. Okay. We, we love the contacts of other people. We love the, communication and the verbalization between each other and you know congregating at different scenarios i mean it's it's a great thing and and you know that's what god designed us as people in this world that we're there for each other and um you know but what are you doing in your life are you are you are you soaking in all the negativity and letting it bind you it's 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 a big important thing and and that's kind of what I want to talk today is about the mindset of us as humans. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, but your mindset needs to craft the right self image. Okay. We all have different images of ourselves. Okay. Do we think highly of ourselves? Do we think we're nothing but trash? Do we think that we're, you know, dumb people and we can't do this and we can't do that. And, you know, there's always better people than us. And, you know, there's a, there's a, there comes a fine line to be between being humble and being understanding of what us as people can do to, you know, to better ourselves in life and crafting your right self image is a big important factor. Okay. Um, you know, what you think of yourself is what you're going to make of yourself. If you think negatively of yourself, you think bad of yourself and you think, Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that you're going to get the results of exactly that. And I've seen it so many times, you know, people have such bad problems and, and they come to the point to, well, I need this, I need that. And it, it almost comes as a, is a needy baby sort of thing. Okay. Um, I never trust the government to supply my needs. I never depend on the government to take care of me or do this or accomplish my dreams. If the system was to a point to where, we depended on the government or, you know, the world to bring our good luck or our good fortune, then we've got, <laughs> we've got some surprises coming apparently. Um, but crafting that right self image. Okay. People do tend to become what they think about themselves and champions and peoples that do better for themselves have a different self image than the average person. They understand that their self image will not determine how successful they will become. 
in life, okay? And there's so much opportunity out there in this world. It, it blows my mind. Um, you know, growing up in, in the Mennonite community that I was, I didn't have much opportunity until I left, okay? You, you do, you advance yourself to the extreme um, within that community, and you all of a sudden leave the community. It's like, man, there's a whole new world out here. There's so much opportunity, and you're hungry for it, okay? Um, and it's, it's a crazy thing, you know, us, us as people, we're jailed within our own thoughts and feelings of life that we think we can't accomplish this, we think we can't accomplish that. Where do you think all these people that have accomplished things manage to accomplish things, okay? Sure, there's luck in this world. Sure, there's people that have come across, you know, great opportunities at the right time. But there's always another opportunity. There's always another right time. And you guys are the ones that can actually be a part of that as well. You know, we're, we're trading in, in a, a crashing economy right now. This will probably be the best opportunity in my lifetime. Um, and I'm going to take full blown advantage of it. You know, I'm going to take advantage of mastering my trading skills to the extreme to where I can profit off of this. Okay. Money isn't everything, but the power of what money can do is so much in this world, unfortunately. Um, but there's so much you can do with it. And, uh, you know, I, I love to see guys prosper with it and try to better themselves. And that's why I love teaching. Okay. I'm full on into my education with my students um, in, in, in my trading, in my trading classes. And I love to see them, you know, grow themselves. Um, and, and the mindset is literally the biggest hurdle, um, for so many of these, of, of my students to overcome. When you grow up with bad habits and you grow up with negative thoughts and, and, and nothing about low self-esteem, so to speak, you're trapped within your own mind. You're trapped within your own potential accomplishments. You're trapped within your own jail, so to speak. And, you know, if you don't pull yourself out of that uh, mindset, you're not going to go anywhere. Um, and it's a big unfortunate, but I love to see where people can actually expand themselves. And us as his people, it's literally detaching from what leeches off of, of, of our potential. You know, you have the right to everything. Um, you don't need to settle for what you're dealing with, okay? Um, sure, I've been in some, in, in some crazy backed corners. Um, when I left home at 18, I was homeless, okay? I had nothing. I had $400 to my name. Um, I had no home. <laughs> I had no job. I had no, no, I didn't know what the next step in my life was going to be, but you know what I had? I had ambition. I had dreams. I had goals I wanted to accomplish. Um, when I left, you know, it, it was a, it was a massive thing to take. It was a whole culture shock, so to speak. Um, I didn't latch onto what, you know, the community wanted me to be. You know, I was the pastor's son. <laughs> um, you know, I, I was supposed to be the good kid in, in, in church and, and do what I wanted to do. And, you know, as religion has, has kind of progressed, you know, has gone throughout the years, I guess, it's, you know, it becomes more of a religious cult, so to speak. Um, but at the end of the day, as long as I think of God as my Lord and Savior, that's, that, that's all that matters to me. Um, but in this situation in day and age, you guys got to create your own talent and I know everyone, but every one of you guys have it in you. Um, we all have different things and I love studying the human mind, um, studying people and the reactions to things, their opinions to things. We're all equal. Okay. We all have our own ways of how we work together, how we work against each other and so on. And you know, a lot of people clash. A lot of people have their own opinions. Um, and it, it's, it's a big, it's, it's a big, it's a big overtaking. Um, but I want you guys to be able to think highly of yourselves. Look, look for the great uh, potential that you guys truly have in yourselves. But chan champions never understand that talent will only get themselves so far in their spot or business. Okay. So look for that thing and commit to it. Okay. There's a process that you guys got to go through in establishing what can be good for you guys. So commit to the process. Okay. Champions love the process as much as they love the results. Okay, they devoted and committed to improving every single day. And it takes a lot of practice. We've got a lot of stumbling, stumbling blocks that we go through. We fail a lot, okay? 
and we were designed as people to learn from our failures. And if you're not that one that's trying to learn from your failures, better yourself year over year, you're gonna, you're, you're not, you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time progressing. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the end of the rope, so to speak. So, commit to yourself, okay? Do that re reverse engineering of your goals, so to speak. You know, we a lot of a lot of people in this day and age are are trained as children from their parents to you know think of the the tr entrapped life, so to speak. And what I mean by that is, you know, grow up, go to college, get a degree, and that'll be your career for the end of your days pretty much um you know th there's no ambition people weren't trained to be entrepreneurs people weren't trained to how to manage money and better themselves it, it's more or less trained into the whole society that this is what we got to be um it, it's an entrapment so to speak um you know i was br brought up a little differently so the entrapment was a little different it was more based on a religious cult you know Outbringing, so to speak. So it, it was a little different. Um, things were a lot more limited. But you guys have control of your future. You guys have control of what your mindset is going to make you uh, become one day. And there's nev there's nothing that's ever too late. Um, you guys deserve it all. You know, we we as people, we we deserve the best life that we possibly can live. And you know, nothing outside of of my four walls is going to determine my outcome in life okay it's not going to stop me from what i really want to become it's not going to stop me from you know limiting myself to the, the to the financial freedoms that i've established for myself or you know what i can hopefully teach or show to others to help better themselves as well um in the stock market is where you know i've gotten my greatest wealth from um, i've had a lot of different jobs different careers um, you know, when I first <laughs> got out of the whole society, I was working hard to try to upgrade myself one step at a time and better myself year over year. And, you know, I reflect back on that every day. I thank God for the blessings that he's blessed me with. And, you know, you think back, it's like, man, I've really come from that, that, that kind of distance. I've come a long ways. Um, but had I latched on to what could have been, I could be nowhere near to where I am today. Um, so take control of your future, guys. Okay, but what separates them from it, what separates you from everyone else is how you respond to failure. Okay, never let the failure determine you know your for, your your future, so to speak. Okay, so how you react will determine how successful you are in your future. So get over your losses quickly. Okay, we all have losses and you know trials and and problems and different dilemmas in life and, and you know we all travel a similar road and we all have different obstacles it seems like but never let your losses ever you know stop you from what you truly want for yourself um you gotta learn from your mistakes you know i've made a lot of mistakes in my life and i've learned from well i feel like i've tried to learn from every one of them um you know and it, it's it's been a, it's been a tough road it's been a crazy road and when I see the whole world going crazy like it is right now and, and nothing but a panic, you know, it's, it's, it's a bunch of fear that people feed off of. They don't, they don't know what to do. They're lost. They're losing the comfort of stability, so to speak. And, you know, I, I've learned some primitive living when I grew up. So, you know, this does not bother me whatsoever. You know, what's going on, the only part that bothers me of what's going on in this day and age right now is literally you know, how are people going to survive for themselves? I, I care about, I care about others. And it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a differ it's a difficult thing to see and I hate it for anybody. And if I can be someone who can help them be someone who can better the situation and help them learn from it, uh, help them grow from it and help them walk away from it and, and progress in the right path that they feel is ne needed for themselves, then that's exactly what I want to do. Um, so get over your losses quickly, okay? Snap back from your problems. Don't dwell on the errors of what, you know, you're encountered. Dwelling on it is your, is your worst problem. And uh, the, the faster you bounce back, the quicker you can move on in the correct and right direction for yourselves, okay? Don't negative self-talk yourself, okay? So many people doubt themselves. So many 
people are negative and they, they, they self doubt themselves. Literally. They're just, you know, they're like, Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. You've got to throw that mentality outside the window. Um, you know, and we all have it inside of us. Okay. We've all been there. Um, so, you know, don't make quick judgments or quick decisions like, Oh, this can't happen. Oh, this will probably happen. Oh, this, this, nah, I can't do this. I can't do that. We all can do it. Okay. Someone did it before you, someone took the leap of faith. Yes. It was probably you know, some fear to it. And, you know, but that's just part of it. I've been in so many uncomfortable situations in my life of jumping from one thing to the next. But you know, at the end of the day, my end goal was that one dream, that one ambition I wanted to accomplish. And that was to have financial freedom, be financial stability, um, you know, in the correct direction for my life. And I wanted to turn around and see what I can do to help others accomplish that exact thing that I may have accomplished, okay? Because the root of all this is literally people want more money. People want more happiness. People want more freedom. And, you know, it's sad that money literally can give you a lot of freedom. It can give you a lot of financial stability. You know, it's just the way the system works. Um, you know, you can't beat it for say, and you can't, you know, you can't try to sway from it in one way or the other. Um, you know, everybody has a different way of freedom. And if that's your way of freedom, then chase it, you know, take after it. Surround yourself with winners. Okay. I've created this chat room that I, that I have. Um, established around a winning mentality okay a lot of the guys i'm so thankful for them in my room um i've trained them i've taught them um, they've taught me stuff as well you know us as people have different aspects and different stories that teach us as well and it's a great it's a great thing to see how many winners and how many people have that mindset to want to better themselves within our room and they're surrounding themselves with positivity. It's, it's, it's an energy factor, so to speak. So keep a good, <laughs> optimistic attitude, um, open mindset, and, you know, be progressive with yourself, okay? It's, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, but, you know, I want you guys to really push yourselves. And us as traders, you know, we have all kinds of different battles that we face every day. You know, the world economy crashing, stock markets are crashing. You know, our parents or your parents are losing their 401ks or people that worked hard all their lives are losing their 401ks or IRAs. You know, they're going down the drain. Money is completely slipping away from them at any moment. I mean, it's crazy how the markets are crashing and the stories that I hear people losing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, to be not educated on the system of finance and stock trading and investing and so on. Okay. It's an important thing in this world, apparently, um, because it literally will depict as far as take it and, and, and go with it, so to speak. So don't dwell on it, but learn to better yourselves with this. Um, we're coming up on an opportunity that could be huge for us. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know where the market's going to stop falling. I don't know when the market's going to stop um, you know, crashing, I'm, I want to be there when things start to bounce back. Um, you know, I read the stories and see the videos all the time of these multi-millionaires, multi-billionaires that have literally, you know, they had different stories and different scenarios that got them to where they're at. Um, and, and it was literally in some of the, you know, the 2008 market crash was literally, I think one of the biggest uh, money makers for so many people that's that literally recovered from that episode, um, but learn to control your psychological minds. Okay. Most traders, when they first begin trading mistakenly believe that they all need to do is first find a great, you know, strategy after that, they'll need to do come to the trading market each day, plug in their great trading strategy and the market will just immediately start pumping money into their accounts. And unfortunately, as any of us who have ever traded have learned, it's not that easy. Okay. There are plenty of traders who use intelligent, well-designed trading systems and, and strategies who will regularly lose money rather than make money. Um, but in my system, in my classes, guys, I, I do teach how to overcome these situations, be able to, you know, work your way through the process, um, get to better yourselves and control that mindset, break those bad habits. You know, you got bad habits, you got to break them. Bad habits aren't obviously working for you guys. Um, but you know, 
try to figure out, you know, what's, you know, life is not about just comfortable, you know, not being comfortable, not being your nine to five job. You're, you're um, <laughs> waiting for your paycheck. And now like millions of Americans right now are facing laid off, you know, they're looking for the stimulus check or a little bit of money to help them go buy groceries or pay rent or, and so on. So in this economy, it's, it's a crazy disaster, but I want you guys to focus on one thing. Don't focus on all the stuff that's literally crashing and burning around you. Um, it'll literally make you a part of that crash and burning around you, so to speak. Um, do what you can for others. Be positive. Do what you feel you can do for yourself to better yourself during this situation. And guys, if you got questions, Feel free to you know feel free to holler at me anytime. I try to be as active as I can. Um, I am busy a lot, so if it takes me a little time to get to some of your messages, um, I'll definitely you know be be as responsive as I can to that. But anyway, guys, that's kind of what I had for you guys today. Um, but keep the positive mindset. Work on yourselves. Um, stay healthy out there. And um, guys, I do wish you all the best. And Keep strong, keep faith, and uh, love, love all you guys.